this equation happens to be a degree 6 equation. If the equation is of a higher degree than 1, so higher than linear, then the only way we can approach it is the zero product rule, which means we have to wipe out one side to zero, attempt to factor the other side, and apply the zero product rule. So in this particular case, we need to wipe out one side to zero. It's probably smarter to subtract this piece. That way, we do not create negative leading coefficient. Whenever possible, negative leading coefficient should be avoided. So we're going to subtract 16x to the fourth power from both sides. And now that one side is zero, we can start factoring the other side. So on the left-hand side, we have a degree 6 expression, but there is a big greatest common factor because both terms are divisible by at least x to the fourth. And when we factor out the greatest common factor, we get x to the fourth times x squared minus 16. This second factor can be further factored via the difference of squares theorem. According to the difference of squares theorem, x squared minus 4 squared will be factored into a pair of conjugates x plus 4 and x minus 4. This is a product that is 0 and it has six factors. One factor is x minus 4, another one is x plus 4, and the four others are just x. So this product can be 0 if either x equals to 0, or x plus 4 equals to 0, or x minus 4 equals to 0. And then we solve for x, which read it in one bad equation into a bunch of smaller linear ones. So this equation has three solutions, 0, 4, and negative 4. One more comment. It's tempting to divide by x to the fourth power. But if we do that, we're actually dividing by 0, right? One of the solutions is 0. And we would lose solutions. If we divided both sides by x to the fourth, we would get x squared equals 16, x plus minus 4. So we would lose this solution, which is why we should never divide by something that could be 0. But if you feel like dividing both sides, then what we're doing is pretty much that, only safer. So if you feel like dividing, then subtract and factor out. Thanks for watching.